Before I begin and go too much further, I'd like to a moment to recognize a group of students who have come from some distance to be with us here, the international students and the St. Evex students who studied with us at the Cody International Institute. First, uh, it took some time, however, we're pleased that we were able to bring you at least a sense and experience with a, a little Nova Scotia snowstorm before you departed uh, for your homes literally around the world. It's our departing gift for you before you leave Annie Kanish on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, secondly, and more importantly, of course, we needed you to know that your presence on this campus during your time with us made our lives more exciting and, and certainly the learning more rich. Your presence here helped us overcome the distance that we have sometimes on this planet from one another, the strangeness that we have with one another, and we learned to recognize that people and ideas that at first might feel uh, foreign, that in fact over time become very familiar to us. You left your families belong uh, a long time ago uh, for this opportunity with the commitment that you would make your communities and your countries uh, more prosperous and stronger. And it's really been a joy to have you with us here on the campus of St. Evex University. You're welcome back to your second home at any time. Dr. Susan Walsh, Associate Director for Education Programs at Cody International Institute, will present to the Chancellor the candidates for diplomas in development leadership. The audience is again asked to withhold applause until candidates have been presented. Madam Chancellor, I present to you the candidates in the Diploma for Development Leadership. Zuhur Ahmed, Pakistan. Vaida Kabuga Aki Kodaga, Ghana. Obia Julu Agustina Amu Amuziam, Nigeria. Minila Bishwa, Bangladesh. Father Alwin Chanayi Varghese, India. Sister Archana Das DM, India. Salsan Hassan Sali El Shawaya, Sudan. Maria Fontanelle, San Lucia. Saint Lucia. It's a Spanish word. Maria Mashima Fungumeli, Kenya. Hani Imrain Atia Gali, Egypt. Irvin Wordsworth Artfield Henry, Antigua. Alia Saber Hussein, Egypt. Insa Hyun, Korea. Widad Ibrahim Abdel Salem Ibrahim, Egypt. Ani Auli Ilmi, Indonesia. Helen Kauta Kalikeka, Zambia. Lenyu Muma Iren Kio, Cameroon. Jin Hong Lee, Korea. Sifiwe Pamela Pumla Mabuyak Hulu, Abingo, Swaziland. Father John Mashi, India. Siti Y. Masdafia, Indonesia. Magot Milad Hana Magali, Egypt. Father Prince Robert Michael, India. Robert Mutisi, Zimbabwe. Samson Chigosi Ngadi, Nigeria. Peter Ocheng, Uganda. Saida Bani Auda, Palestine. Richard Pace, India. Yogesh Pant, Nepal. 
Charity Vansi Piri, Malawi. Anwar Razak, Indonesia. Juzitu Fatima Ribelu, Timor Leste. Asri Sawiji, Indonesia. Hina Shazadi, Pakistan. Dili Raj Subedi, Nepal. Jitu Joseph Thomas, India. Sister Teresa Topno, India. Rupa Kumari Upreti, Nepal. And Winston Vincent D. Williams, Jr., Antigua and Barbuda. Thank you. On behalf of the graduating class, Ms. Azri Suwiji and Honorable Winston Vincent D. Williams, <coughs> Jr. will address convocation. Chancellor Crocker, President McDonald, distinguished guests, fellow graduates, good afternoon. We would like to thank to Santa Fe University and Cody International Institute for this warm environment and the Antigonish community for their friendly welcome. I'm both honored and humbled to speak on behalf of all graduates today. A few moments ago, we received our degrees and become Cody and Santa Fe graduates. We have already seen our hard work and this afternoon is the time to reap our achievement. Who we are today is a collection of decisions that we have taken in life. I believe I speak for all of us when I say confidently that our time here has profoundly changed our lives. Our perceptions of our world and that of ourselves has emboldened us to be good change agents. At a time when our world requires bold, decisive, and fearless leadership through our individual and collective actions, we can and must effect the necessary changes designed to bring about progress. We must never be wary in well-doing, remembering that a journey of a thousand miles begin with a single step. Single step were taken by the people in Antigonish movement. They created an inclusive social transformation. They valued and respected others' knowledge. And they were the best example of servant leadership. To be humble, to serve by bringing in the community members, empowering and enabling them to express and bring the change they want and need. Progress also recognizes the importance of democracy. Where the, where the outcome is designed to benefit the greatest number of people. By our actions and decisions, which leaders and change agents must make. In preparation for this address, I came across a statement by John Rennish, which I believe we can all relate to, and I quote, Democracy is a team sport. It is not like going to a ball game where you sit passively and decide if you like the players and evaluate their abilities after watching the game. We are the players, and we are the team. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no failed creator of God. Nobody has nothing. Everyone has a set that they bring to the field, the table, the organization, and community. As a leader, your responsibility is making a beautiful arrangement with this. All we need to do is shut up and listen. Listen, 
dig in and see what is inside. Ultimately, our ability to bring out each voice is the key to being a successful leader. Learning in university encourage us to think critically and knowing how to respond to the social, economic, political, and environmental problems. Our blue earth is now heating up. Perhaps the mother earth is now crying. Many discrimination and justice and violence are happening. As graduates, we have a moral responsibility to deal with it. Out there, people are waiting for our action, our action to bring justice. Marion Williams reassures us, and I quote, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate, but rather our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that frightens us, end of quote. I came to this university not knowing what to expect, confused, misunderstood. Today, I took the walk of graduation for the first time at the age of 43 years old. I now have a new lease on life, renewed vision, purpose restored, and great, great friends. I think of my eight-year-old daughter, Anya, and the examples I've set here today, not only for her, but for all those who truly feel that we can make a difference. Fellow graduates, let us reflect for a while on this happy day. Look to your family, look to your friends around you, and say thank you for the wonderful support and friendship. Tell them that we are ready to make a better world. Let's go light our world. And congratulations to the class of 2016. Thank, thank you. you.